Josh Green here for Tungsten Tales. Delighted to be joined by Keen Barry, who will be in his fourth World Championship this year at the Ali Pali. We've just talked off camera, Keen. Can't believe it's been three, four years you've you've been on the scene in terms of World Championship stuff. Yeah, it's mad, yeah. Like it, it's I think with, with the COVID as well, I kind of feel like two years are kind of like gone, but uh I was mad to be playing in my third my third time. It still doesn't even feel feel right to me, but no, it's good. Mm. What do you remember about your debut against Vincent? From what I remember it was there were close sets, you just couldn't seem to quite get over the line on it. Yeah, I think there maybe a little bit of an experience back then, you know, but uh kind of I didn't feel like I was overwhelmed by the whole occasion. I was just trying to take it all in and take get the best experience possible and obviously I wanted to win but it was one of them where you're there didn't really go for me the first two sets went 3-2 could have went a different way could have been 2-0 up not 2-0 down so but uh, you just learn from them things and, and you, you kind of it stood to me a lot go, going going forward so it was one of them things even though you do lose but you're still happy for the getting the experience and, and different things from it mm. and last year of course you had that game with, with Johnny uh was able to re-watch some of the highlights. You were taking out ton plus finish after ton plus finish. Did it just feel like everything was going so right at that time, even though the result probably wasn't the one you wanted? Yeah, it was just, just in a rhythm. Everything seemed to be going. Even I think I lost the first set, maybe. I'm not sure, but it, it was uh, maybe the first or second set. I'm not 100% sure now, but I still felt good. Like, came out after the breaks, so I was just felt on it. Finishes were going in, full finishes, everything was just seemed to be kind of going, but then he just turned it to a different level then towards the end and kind of had a couple of chances, but it's one of them things where you, them one or two little chances go astray, it turns the whole game on its head and that's, that's exactly what happened, but again, took all the good experiences from it and uh, it gave me much more confidence going playing TV, knowing that I can put it up for the best of them, you know, I think before that I was playing against Peter Wright in the players' finals. And it was just close game six four as well. So the confidence of them two two games was massive for me to maybe then it help me with the UK Open run. I think. <laughs> yeah, well, we'll get on to the UK Open in a second. But do you, results and performances like that do they have they been able to help you sort of acclimatize to to stage play? Because oh yeah, obviously you were doing it before you got your tour card, but in front of those crowds, it does take some doing. Yeah, of course, yeah, like it, it is, you have to, it's one thing you have to be used to, it's one of them things where playing so well on a big stage against the, one of the best players in the world in front of so many people, it's it's one of them things you kind of stand back and you say, you know what, I can do it, I can kind of put it up to the best of them, it's just need to do it on a more consistent basis and uh, just start trying to get into the into more majors and things like this, but that, that'll that come in time, so I'm sure of it. Uh, before we get on to the World Championship, we'll talk about that UK Open run, obviously, making the semi-finals it's a strange tournament really down in my head but the open draw and everything that comes with it how pleased were you with the progression and how everything went on down there yeah i was delighted like the two uk opens of here one was in my head one was in Milton Keynes because of the covid but uh i never played well really, never played really well in them to be honest so i, I was just saying before I, before I went to that tournament you know i wanted to get a good run haven't played well in it, so it's one of them you just kind of want to put that right. It just it's just one of them things in my own head. So it was, and uh, yeah, man, everything seems to be going okay. Managed to get to semi final and took a play from really good there, took it some big names. So yeah, I was I was delighted. So I was a bit, bit kind of upset now that I didn't go on and win it because I felt like I was playing well enough. But it was just one of them you just kind of yeah, Michael Smith just kind of started to kick into gear and I just kind of wasn't really finding as much as I was in the evening start of the game or just, just seemed to just kind of get away from me, you know. Mm. Was that maybe the only disappointment that you weren't able to quite put together, put together your best game against Michael because previous to that you were you were playing some unbelievable stuff? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, like of course, let's see if you told me on the Friday we'll be getting to the semi-final I'd be absolutely delighted with that, you know, but uh, mm. when you're in the position and you have them chances, of course, we're going to be disappointed that 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 we miss all the chances. But maybe a week later, when you actually stand back and actually look at well, what you did, you, you really take a lot of positives from it. There's no real negative to take. You'd be very hard. You'd be very just very harsh on yourself now if you're to, to be putting yourself down over them couple of missed chances. You know, it's kind of first major semi final, so you can I look back on that in years. Hopefully, when I'm when I'm when I'm winning the title, then I won't even think about that. <laughs> <laughs> um. When you go into this year, this year's World Championship, do you feel in a 
a much better position than than previous years. You've made that semi final, as you say. You've been playing PDC darts now for what two or three years, and you're a, you're a much different player now to what you were two or three years ago. Yeah, definitely. I'm very confident going into it. You know, I'm coming to form at the right time, and uh, I feel like this year I've been a bit inconsistent, but I'm kind of starting to play well again. In the middle of the year, I kind of dropped off and wasn't really playing as well as I kind of was at, at the start. But uh, I would like to this one before for a championship, so I I know what it's all about. I, I and it's 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 nothing new to me now. You know what I mean? I feel like kind of I mean I've been there the last few years, and I picked up my first win last year, so just stepping stones now to just go on and, and hopefully get a nice run into it. And I'm, I'm feeling good. Practice is going brilliant, and everything seems to be feeling good. So I don't see why why I can't go on and do well. Hmm. Do you think people are starting to see you as a? as a threat for these, not not necessarily for the titles, but a threat to definitely to upset the big names in these tournaments because you've you've been able to prove it uh, in the UK Open, as I say, and, and time and time again we see it on the Pro Tours and things like that. Yeah, like I, I know I know myself, I know my own game. I, I can go in and I can, I can beat anybody, but it's the same for everybody else. You know, you just have to do it on a consistent level, consistent basis, and, and uh, take your chances when they come. That's probably my biggest kind of, Thing over the last couple of years, or just didn't take the chances. But I think I've matured into a into a better player. I've been more a bit more composed. Things of this, you know. So that obviously does help a lot. And uh, it's just gonna take each game as it comes to the World Championship. You know, even in the, every tournament, you just have to take each game as it comes and don't, don't get too far ahead of yourself. That's where I feel like the college. You know, you're looking ahead at things. You still have to beat the first person in front of you and then move on from there. Mm. First up for you, obviously, Grant Sampson in the opening round. And playing on the opening night is always a, a special atmosphere. How much are you looking forward to the challenge that, that game brings? Obviously, you'll go in as a, a heavy favourite and what the atmosphere is going to be like. Yeah, I'm looking forward to it. I, I haven't really seen much about uh, Grant now, but um, and obviously, he came through the South African qualifier, so you have to be a good player to come through, mm -hmm. come through that field. So he, you can't underestimate any player you know, at the World Championship, you know. But uh, you just have to, I'm just going to take all the experience I have from the previous years and I just play my own game, really. I think I, think I can go far, but the, the main the main concentration is on, on, on the first game, getting through the first night, you know. it's a, I played the first night, I think it was two two years ago, but there wasn't that really anybody there because of the COVID. So it would be nice to play on a, on, on the first night with a, with a proper crowd in. I think it's going to be a really good atmosphere. Do you enjoy those crowds? Because... We've seen you, I think, the Irish match play, there was a, a cracking crowd in there. And obviously, in my head, it's a, it's a big, big crowd down there. Do you enjoy those occasions? Yeah, I try, to be honest. It's, it's just a great atmosphere when everyone's kind of, kind of getting behind you. Or you may be something that's very against you, but it's all part of the park. You know, you have your fans. People are people have their fans. So, But uh, just, just especially Ali Pali, it's electric there. It always is. Yeah. Everyone, like, it, it's it's always full, it, it, especially in playing evening sessions. It's amazing. So, to be honest, First, uh, first day, it's, I think I think it's going to be a really, really good atmosphere. Mm. And going into next year, obviously, there's a huge amount of money on the line at the World Championship. You've got a ch an opportunity to push yourself up even further towards the top 32. Is that sort of the next thing in your mind, the next target? Yeah, that's probably the next goal. I, I set myself for the first two years to be in the top 64, and I think I'm nearly in the top 40, so it's and I just have to keep pushing on now from that and hopefully get into the top 32, top 32 next year and uh, just keep trying to qualify for the, for the big majors. You know, I, I felt like I missed chances with the match play and, and the Grand Prix this year, just kind of coming out of form at the wrong time, losing too many kind of silly games. But it's one of them when you're next year, I go into it and I just need to be a little bit more ruthless and I'm not going to take the eye off the ball. That's really it. All right, perfect. Well, well, we'll see you down in London on opening night, Keen, thank you very much for your time. No problem. Thank you.